Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancers, before we get into your reading, I want to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Hope you guys are staying safe and I wish um, the very best for you guys. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of October 2021 regarding your love life. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month re remaining of October 2021. What is it that they need to know at this present time? What is unfolding for them? Please show us through the cards, the messages that they need to hear at this present time. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance. All right, Cancers, let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Queen of Swords. So you guys are a bit in your head, maybe protecting your energy. For some of you guys, a little bit guarded. Um, it's like you're being a little bit more methodical in the way you express your emotions, which this is an energy very different from what your natural energy is. So I feel that for some of you guys, it, it could be almost like understanding or acknowledging that there's some type of healing that needs to happen in this connection. Um, in this deck, the queen is carrying um, a bouquet of lavender. So that's uh, standing out to me very much. Um, wanting to smooth a certain situation or something that recently happened. Uh, could have been with communication. And I feel like you guys are a little bit more restrictive in how you express your emotions. Could be that you're a bit guarded. However, I do see communication coming towards you. Uh, this could be your person or person of interest that will be reaching out to you and will be reaching out rather quickly. But I feel that the energy on your part is not very receptive. Um, this could represent, again, being guarded. It could be like not fully believing what they're expressing or what they're telling you. There is a bit of hesitation here um, that you're going to be experiencing. Now, we do have the Three of Pentacles. The person is coming towards you with the intention or energy of wanting to have a meeting of the minds, wanting to be on the same page, or trying to hear you out, trying to understand or see your side of the story or your point of view. So I do see them putting some type of effort in communicating. We also have here the Ace of Wands. So there is an opportunity um, to give each other the opportunity to start something or to, uh, again, give the opportunity to express freely uh, what both of you guys are feeling. Um, for some of you guys, you could have been dealing with the person that perhaps was a bit guarded or they have issues trying to express. It's almost like when they get bothered, they kind of pull their energy back instead of telling you like, hey, I need some time or I'm upset. It's like they allow all of this to kind of, you know, fester within them until it gets to the point of, you know, completely, you know, going off or going on this, um, on this uh, very harsh way of communicating because they've had enough. Um, and again, this is talking to me about uh, the person having blockages in regards to how they express their emotions. But I feel that you guys will be uh, coming together or there will be some type of communication that allow allows both of you guys to express uh, how you guys are feeling um, very freely without any type of judgment. Then the next card here is the the nine of swords. So for some of you guys, it could be the fear uh, that you're currently going through. The fear of you know this person is has this person lost interest? Has this person lost the passion within the relationship? Um, have we allowed it to you know for the flame to be extinguished? There's this worrisome type of energy of contemplating and trying to fix the situation but not really knowing how and the reason why you're feeling like you don't really know how to fix it could be because they're not communicating or because communication was cut however you will be hearing from them they will be reaching out there will be given an opportunity um, to try to figure out if you know if it's worth fighting for if it's worth um, if both of you guys genuinely have feelings for each other, can we fix this? That's the type of energy that's coming through. You do need to let go of your fears, Cancer. And we also have here the Moon card. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like your partner's not being completely honest. And that could be the reason why they kind of either stop communicating or not communicating as often. There is a feeling of some type of hesitation here. 
Um, should I be the one to walk away to protect myself? This is a defensive mechanism. Um, it's kind of like wanting to give up because you feel like it's coming to an end or you're feeling like the partner's losing interest and before they walk away or before they hurt me, I'd rather be the one to give up or I'd rather be the one to walk away. However, like I said, I do see communication happening and I do see uh, things making more sense. Uh, keep in mind, um, Mercury will be going direct on the 18th of October. Saturn just recently went, retro, uh, not retrograde, sorry. Saturn just recently went direct. So a lot of the miscommunication, a lot of the confusion that you've been experiencing, uh, Cancer, is gonna quickly come to light. Things are gonna make more sense. And again, whatever it is that you've been sensing or feeling, uh, what they're telling you is just wait it out and see how things unfold. Give them the opportunity to express themselves or to open up to you and you do the same. Don't be as guarded because it is necessary. Communication is key in this situation in order to be able to overcome that obstacle. I want to wish you guys the very best. Um, happy Hallow's Eve to everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.